One day in a land far, far away, the weather was much hotter than usual. The flowers planted by the villagers were wilting due to the heat. The animals were getting tired faster, and the king's guardians were sweating non-stop in their clothes. Ugh, today is hotter than yesterday. We're perished in these clothes. Neither the king and his soldiers, nor the villagers could understand the reason for the increasing temperature day by day. A young girl named Maria was very upset when she saw the rotting crops in her field. If it goes on like this, all my vegetables will dry up. This heat needs to stop immediately. Maria went before the king and complained about the heat in the air and talked about the drying up of the fields. The king commissioned one of his knights to find the cause of the heat. The young knight set out on the mountain slope with a big courage. Finally, he saw a dragon in the seventh cave of the mountain with seven caves. The dragon was constantly spewing fire with his breath, and he never did shut his mouth. When the knight realized that the heat was coming from this dragon, he started running towards the dragon with his sword to stop him. However, seeing this, the dragon threw the knight back to the village with one breath. No! And continued to spew fire with his mouth over the village. The knight passed through the villagers in armor blackened by fire. Maria and the other villagers were very sad with the knight's condition. The knight, on the other hand, went before the king and told all that had happened. My king, an angry dragon is constantly spewing fire over our village. That's why the temperature is rising. A dragon? Yes, look what dragon's fire has done to my armor. The king could not believe what he heard. For several days, he locked himself in his room and thought about how they could defeat the dragon. Then he called his herald and gave him a task. The herald gathered the villagers around him and announced the king's will. The temperature in our village is because of the dragon living in the seventh cave of the mountain with seven caves. This dragon is very powerful and constantly spews fire. Our king has announced that he will give a hundred gold to anyone who can hunt this dragon. Hearing what the herald said, the villagers were terrified. Each of them took a step back and started to return to their homes. However, just at that moment, the young farmer Maria stepped forward with great courage. I, I can hunt the dragon. What? You're just a girl digging a field. We need strong and mighty male warriors. Isn't there among you? You can't do this, Maria. Maria, no! Dragon hunting is not for you! Everywhere was silence. Despite the king's award, no one but Maria stepped forward. I am a hard-working girl who has animals and a field. I'm ready to do my best to end this heat. Otherwise, my and all the village people's efforts will be destroyed. Neither the herald nor the villagers paid attention to Maria's words. Nevertheless, the next day, Maria took her bow and arrow and set off. It was even hotter that day than any other day. Moreover, it was not easy to climb the mountain with seven caves. Along the way, Maria was constantly sweating and drinking water. Ugh, I am so tired, but I have to move forward. Come on, Maria, only two caves to the goal. You can make it. 
After a while, Maria reached the sixth cave of the mountain with seven caves. She saw that all the purple flowers that were growing here specifically faded. Even the unique purple flowers are all wilted! Ugh, I will definitely hunt that dragon! Maria had barely climbed to reach the mountain's seventh cave. It was so hot in here that Maria almost melted away. Finally, the fire-breathing dragon appeared. Here you are, dragon. I'm not afraid of you. Maria tried to get a few steps closer to the dragon hiding behind the stones. But the dragon didn't stop. He kept breathing fire. Maria barely survived. Still, she didn't stop. She got a little closer to her target. It was at that moment that she heard a strange sound from the dragon. <laughs> huh? This... this dragon, is he crying or...? <laughs> when Maria went around the dragon's back, she noticed that he was tangled in a thorn ivy. No way! It's so scary! That's why you keep screaming and spewing fire! Poor dragon! She pulled out the thorn ivy, although it was difficult. Ah! Ow! Even one of these thorns hurts my hand so much! Ouch! Oh, who knows how it hurts the dragon! Meanwhile, the dragon suddenly turned his face towards Maria. He looked at her with an angry look and was about to burst into fire when Maria showed the thorn ivy she had untied. When the dragon realized that he had gotten rid of the thorns, he was very happy and thanked Maria. Then he put her on his back and started flying in the sky. The villagers were very happy when they felt the temperature had returned to normal. When they looked at the sky, they saw Maria flying bravely on top of the dragon. This is Maria! Look! Wow! Oh, Maria! She is so brave! Wow! Unbelievable! Wow. Amazing. She's amazing! Maria! She has indeed succeeded! The next morning, Maria appeared before the king and told how she saved the dragon. With this courage and benevolence she showed, she became the only girl in the kingdom to be knighted. From that day on, the dragon legend of the brave knight Maria has been told for centuries to children who once worked in the field just like her. Oh,